Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hey, everybody. Hello, Luis. Hello, Daniel. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. Are you ready? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Can everybody hear me? Hello, hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Hey, David. Hello, David. Welcome. Welcome to your English class. Thank you for coming, everybody. Welcome, guys. Today is Tuesday. How do you feel today? Very good. You feel good? Awesome. Awesome. What did you do today, Josue? Did you sell any cars? Uh, in my house. Do you work from home? And go drive your car for going to my wife. All right, nice, nice. I like that. I like that. Excellent. Um, Hector, how was your day? All right, awesome. Iris, how was your day? Hello, hello. Hey, Hector, how was your day? Ah, very good. All right. Awesome. Very good. Thank you. Iris, how was your day? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, what's nice? Thank you so much. What about you? Well, thank God. So far, so good. I had a very good day. I was able to talk to a millionaire, multi-millionaire. This guy was incredible, incredible. I spoke with him like 40 minutes and my mind explode. This guy is another level. He's a Brazilian man living in Miami. Multi about what did you talk this weekend now? <laughs> uh, properties. Uh, I buy properties in foreclosures. That is my profession in the United States. But I work in El Salvador, but my office is in El Salvador. My work is in Florida. So that's what I do. I buy properties in foreclosure. That's great. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you guys for coming to your class. I would like for us to go ahead and uh, get started. Um, can somebody tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? Quantifiers. Awesome. Quantifiers. Can somebody give me an example of using a quantifier in context? Uh, um, who? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, David. Uh, that's a, 
give um, me a give me an example of using a sentence. For example, um, with all, I can. Uh, all the people are very cute. Very good. All the people are very cute. Awesome. Can somebody give me another example? Somebody. Okay, Patricia Rodriguez. Good morning, are you sleeping? <laughs> it's okay. I went to the gym, so I feel energetic. Don't worry about it. I, I example, um, nearly all finish the homework. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions referring to the examples or the topics that we were talking about yesterday? Does anybody have any questions? Nobody. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to ask questions with quantifiers. Um, Jose. How many cars do you have? I have 10 cars. Barbaro. I want to see. I want to buy a car. Send me your menu. Um, okay. Josue. I don't know. Okay. Ask Mr. Santos. A question with a quantifier. Ahora usted me tiene que hacer una pregunta con un quantifier. Yo le hice una con how many. How many cars okay. do you have? Um, I don't know. Um, how much is it your presupuesto? I don't know how to say. <laughs> how much? Repeat, how much, how much is, is your budget? Your budget, budget. How do you spell? B, U, like this, let me show you. You spell it like this. Can you see? B, U, D. G E T budget. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Um my U D G E T my budget is uh, seven thousand dollars, more or less. Okay. Now, all right, it's now it's a good budget. It's Miami budget. <laughs> <laughs> but the car over there is more cheaper than yes. here. Yes, yes, yes. The problem is the transportation. Yes. Okay, um, Josue, select somebody. I select Lisbeth Murcia. Iris Nieves. Iris Nieves. Iris you have a good, a good voice. Yes. Iris Nieves, ask Lisbeth Murcia the question. Lisbeth, respond. So, okay, teacher. Um, let me see. I don't know what to ask. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Pregúntele cuántos hermanos y hermanas tiene. 
Okay, okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have? I have two sisters. Excellent. Very good question, Iris. Thank you. Now, Lizbeth, ask Iris the question. Iris, respond. Okay, Lisbeth, what happened? I don't know, teacher. Um ¿Cuántos pares de zapatos tienes? How many How pairs many of shoes? shoes? How many do How many pairs of shoes do you have? How many pairs of shoes do you have? Perfect. Uh, well, I have um, four pair of shoes. Uh, all of them are uh, sport shoes. All right. Excellent. Okay. Teacher. Now, Murs, hello. I have a question. Why the certification of this English course is in Spanish? Uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat the question, please? Why the certification of this English course is in Spanish? That's a very good question. I imagine because it, since it's a national program with INSAFORP and it's a Salvadorian government program, I think that maybe that's why. And also remember that a lot of people in human resources don't speak English. So I think that that's why Insofor decided to make the certificates in Spanish. In Inglés Comparativo, we don't make the certificates. We only give the certificate to the students, but uh, Insofor prints a uh, sign a seal so i imagine it's something like that i think i don't know honestly but okay. that's my, my my perception yes okay. okay um lisbeth murcia select somebody iris select somebody jacqueline sosa Jacqueline Sosa. Hello, Jacqueline Sosa. Hello. All right. Jacqueline Sosa and Hector Granados. Granados. Hector Granados. Hello. Okay, so Jacqueline Hello. Sosa. Ask the question and Hector Granados respond. Um, puede ser cualquier pregunta. That is correct. Con un cuantificador. How many, how much. Tiene que hacerlo con, con preguntando cantidad. Porque ese es el tema. El tema es cantidades, a lot, a little. A How few. many pets do you have? How many pets do you have? Good question. Perdón. How many pets do you have? Uh, pets. 
Yes, yes. Uh, one, one dog. Awesome. Okay. One dog. One dog is okay. Now Hector ask the question and Jacqueline respond. Okay. Uh, you are family is working. Mm, no, 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 no. no. Eh, le vamos a preguntar cuántos miembros hay en su familia. How many people are okay. in your family? How many people are in your family? Awesome. Okay. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. It's correct if I say all of in your family work. It sounds like a question. Repeat, no, really. repeat, repeat please. Uh, all of in your family work can be a question. The question is, ¿todos en tu familia trabajan? Uh -huh. is, that, is that the question? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, we're going to say, do all your family members work? Do all your family members work? That's the question. Do all. Okay, because of your work. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, um, any questions about this topic, guys? Anybody have any questions at this moment? No. Okay. So, for the next activity, we're going to look at section 5.10. Lesson objectives. In this lesson, participants will read an article about families and their changes. En esta clase, los participantes le harán un artículo sobre familias y sus cambios. Changing family. Reading. Read the article. Oh, we did this yesterday. Esto lo hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Yes, we finished. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. All right, we are finished section five. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now, <laughs> now we are going to look at the listening section. Listening instructions. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Instrucciones. Escuche la conversación. Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. Instrucciones. Escuche la conversación y seleccione la respuesta correcta. You will have five minutes to complete this activity. In pairs, ayúdense unos al otros. Ready, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, everybody. Let's go, Iris. Let's go, Edgar. Let's go, Jacqueline Sosa. Let's go, Stephanie Morales. Let's go, Edgar Cubillas. Let's go, Jacqueline Sosa. Let's go, Stephanie. The question and your response or 
for what? Yeah. Awkward. Oh, okay. uh, that, yes. The questions number one. Uh, Bad. Oh, well, well. What? No, 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 nothing. Continue. <laughs> Catherine has brothers and sisters. You say, the, uh, you say. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. No, continue. Go ahead. I say the answer to. Oh, the answer uh, is. Yes. Seven. Seven, yes. It's seven. Because she has uh, four sisters and three brothers, right? Exactly. Okay. The next one. Could you please read it? I can find the section. I read the next question. Uh, yeah, please, of course. No days. Mark is is living. Um, the answer is with a friend. With a friend. It's correct. I will read the number three. Sharon okay. usually goes to the gym three times a week. Three times a week. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, number four, some of the many younger brothers and sisters are working abroad. Okay, it's correct. All abroad. Uh, uh, no. How many siblings do you have? Can you repeat, please? How many siblings do you have? Siblings is sobrino, but... Oh. No, siblings, hermanos. But it is general. Um, brothers and sisters. Okay, I understand. I have one sister. I have one sister and one brother. And you? How many um... siblings do you have? <laughs> We are eight, counting me. I have um, uh, four sisters and two brothers. Six siblings. Four. Sorry? Sorry? Uh, they are six siblings. That's correct. No, no, no. We are, we are counting me. We are eight. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> how, how many? I have a big family. <laughs> yes. My family is small. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> and how many? <laughs> how many? Uh, okay. Um, how many milk do you drink in the morning? A lot of... I don't, uh, I don't usually drink milk in the morning. Mm -hmm. do, um, do you drink coffee? It's a very good. Yes. I like coffee. <laughs> I don't like I love milk. coffee too. <laughs> okay. Don't you like milk? No, I don't like. Really? Why? <laughs> because. Uh, Are you allergic? No. 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 Um, because it is. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Just because you don't like it. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's great. That's great. Don't like uh, eat meat. Um, milk, cheese, mm. cream. Okay. 
Catherine has seven brothers and sisters. Nowadays, nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. Sharon usually goes to the gym three times a week. Some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are working abroad. Repetimos nuevamente. Sí. Vale. Sería. Catherine has seven brothers and sisters. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. Sharon usually goes to the gym three times a week. Some of the men, younger brothers and sisters are working abroad. Mm -hmm. All right, let me have the first volunteer. The first volunteer, number one, please. The first volunteer, number one. Seven. 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 All right. Number two. With a friend. Nowadays, Mark is living. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. With a friend. Number three. Three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week. Number four. Some of the main younger brothers and sisters are working abroad. Are working abroad. Are working abroad. Awesome. Awesome. Working abroad. Any questions referring to this activity? How do you write also? Awesome. No, also no. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. What means? Awesome is like very cool. Um, um. Fantastic. Great job. Um, you got it. The best, fabulous, asombroso. asombroso in Spanish. Okay, very good. It's a new vocabulary for Mr. Sam Santos. Asombroso, awesome, like wow. Awesome. awesome. It's not also. No, it's not also. <laughs> <laughs> also. Yeah. Huh? Could you? Teacher, could you? Somebody said, teacher, could you? Me uh, re repeat abroad, abroad. I don't know what it's like. The pronunciation is abroad, abroad, yes. abroad. abroad. Okay, thank abroad. you. Teacher. Hi, okay. hi. Uh, when I, when I speak with American people, we have problem for understanding the pronunciation because there are many words with the same signification. With the same meaning. Meaning. <laughs> yeah, signification, with the it, same it's not a word. It's not an English word. We said with the I same. I was speaking with American people. Spanglish, ah, okay. Yes, but she told me, chief. Chief, chief. Chief, uh -huh. tío, tío. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Chief is like when we say jefito. Si, sí, jefito. Uh, yes, chief. It's the same. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. In the Paso, Texas, I was talking with our officer police, 
Let's continue. I would like for us to look at the next activity, which is section B, instructions. Complete the sentences with do, does, or would. Instrucciones. Complete las oraciones con dos, con do, does, or would. In pairs. I would like for you to help each other in pairs. Any questions? No. <laughs> Let's get started. Jacqueline Sousa. Hello, Jacqueline Sousa. Hello, Jacqueline Sousa. Jacqueline Sousa. Hello, hello. Cayetano. Ese Cayetano. Ajá, y ahí sí. está Cayetano todavía. Eh, que, te, que lo último que supe, sí, no sé, ahorita, como ah, hace, un año retiré, hace un año me retiré de ahí. Ajá, así. sí, que con Cayetano es que teníamos más contacto nosotros, con Salvador ah, Cayetano. Ah, pues sí, te debe, pero nunca llegaste ahí. ¿Cómo no? Llegué a las bodegas. Ah, pues bien, te, te debe haber visto más de una vez. Sí, es que te digo, tu cara ahí en la foto me parece que en algún lugar. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Entonces, sí, me acuerdo un par de veces, pero te estoy hablando hace años, tres, cuatro años que he ido a Merlet, las últimas veces. Sí, pero sí, ahí estuve trabajando. Uh -huh. Is he waiting? Is he waiting? Ah, ok. Thanks. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> complete conversation, part one. Con instruction, complete the sentence with do, does, or will. Letter A. La que lo voy a escribir yo también porque is working. Is, me estaba working. poniendo she is working, por eso me le salía mal. Mm -hmm. Is working, porque ya en la oración, si te fijas, ya pone she. Mm -hmm. She is working, como estamos hablando del presente, está trabajando. Agregamos el ing al verbo, y como el verbo es work, solo agregas ing. She is mm -hmm. working. Vaya, el number two. ¿Cuál es el verbo en el word in, word in two? El verbo. Está en paréntesis. Yo creo. Yo creo. Is waiting. Ajá. Correcto. Ajá, Entonces, que iba, yo, yo cuando las hice, uh -huh. le agregaba el is. Y tal vez quizás por eso. Mm, aunque ahí no tiene el is, fíjate. Entonces ahí le vamos a poner is. He is he. Is he. Y pones el verbo en, en agregándole el, el in. Permitir, lo voy a hacer yo también. Por... En, la, en, la primer, en la primera, ¿cuál es? Instruction. Complete the sentence with do, does, or will. Or will. Number one. A. 
Would you like to see a movie tonight? B. Sure. What time does it need to start? Two. A. Do you like... Corning. Corning. Mm -hmm. Corning. Yeah, is... You are Corning. Coming. Yes, is. Oh. Vaya, dale. Dale, es solo la que no hemos contestado, nos va a salir mal. La es la primera. Vale. Ah, y ahí sería... Sí. Sí. Yo creo, que, yo creo que solo es student. Pongamos solo student. Vale. No. Student. Student. Es que creo que hay Porque si ponemos She is studying No, no, yo lo puse ayer Y no me da Me da mala, solo is studying Pongamos studying She is stu studying Que Que si es de la hermana está estudiando en estos, en estos días. Y ya le responde él, ¿verdad? No, ella está trabajando. No había captado bien y había hecho el... Jeez. Pongámosle el chiar. No, pues ah, no. sí, aquí da de ser R. She, she, she. Quiero ver. She, R. She, R. O R. Style. Veamos cómo está preguntando cómo mm. es tu hermano. ¿Cómo está tu hermano? She, she, she. Está. Sí, está. Yo me estoy dando duro también. Es que ahí es, pre es pregunta. Sí, es me, pregunta. Es, 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 está haciendo una, pre una pregunta, no está contestando. Y sí. Entonces, Steven está estudiando. Está. Ya le oye. La respuesta es, is she studying? Is Yo así, she... la estoy, así la estoy poniendo y no me da. Vaya, a mí ya me la dio. Is she sí, está, uh -huh. está en la garra. Algún espacio oh. ha puesto mal. Algún espacio. Hoy sí ya me la agarro. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Algún espacio era, ¿verdad? Sí. Va. Entonces ya terminamos. Vaya, si gusta practicamos. Vaya. El otro no nos dio tiempo. <risa> <risa> Vaya. Empie empiece usted. 
Wow, okay. Um, were you like to see a movie today? Sure. What time does it start? Number two. Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Uh, what king of the music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock and classical, I think. Section two, number one. How is your your sister? Is she is studying these days? No, she is. She's no. She's um. No, no. She is. She is is working as cashier on the grocery store. Number two, is that David over there? Who is he waiting for? Okay. His girlfriend, Maggie, she is coming on the bus. Mm -hmm. Again. Okay, one more time. Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure, what time does it start? Do you like horror movie? No, not really. What king of music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock and classical, I think. R2. She is coming. Verbo es un verbo irregular. En irregular, ¿cómo se escribiría? En irregular. Regular. Pero ese es, tiene que poner is coming. Is coming. C-O-M-I-N. Jay. No, es que no me lo agarra. Es que no me lo, no me lo acepta. Uh -huh. A menos que le ponga, is he, porque está hablando de David. Lo agarró. Is he number two? Is is he waiting? Is he waiting? Hola. Yeah. Is he waiting? Vamos a ver el otro. Entonces la indicación no está bien porque no solamente vamos a poner una, una palabra. How is your sister? Puede ser entonces. Is, is she daddy? Así es. Así es. Jenny. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Es. Uh, I'm, how is your sister? 
is she studying? Studying, studying. Is she studying? Study con in. Yo lo acepto. Ahí están todas. Is, is she studying these days? Ah. Yo lo acepto. Sí. Ya están 25 de 20. 25 de 25. Lo logramos. Pero me había dado vuelta la cabeza por todo. Ay, tenía varios días que no, no la encontraba. La número dos, ¿cuál era? Este, la, we, la, wait. La, la número, sería la número dos de... Is that day? Is, is he waiting? Waiting. Is she, he? Is he waiting? No lo había puesto esa. Sí, sí, es que el waiting. Waiting con wait mm -hmm. y le va a poner al final. ING, waiting. Waiting. Ya, se lo aceptó. Ya. Ya las tiene todas. Uh -huh. Vaya, si quiere repasémosla. Ok. How is your sister? Is she studied, studying, studying in this day? Studying okay. in day, this day. This day. Uh -huh. No, she is not. She is working as a cashier at a grocery store. Okay. Is that David over there? Who is he waiting for? He's, he's her friend, Maggie. She friend. is her friend. His girlfriend. Girlfriend, Maggie. She is coming in the bus. In on the bus. Mm -hmm. Ay, sí. Estaba preocupada que no le llamo, pero en realidad así se, así se, se así es lo único que teníamos que complementarle con lo otro. Quiere repasémosla. Otra vez. How is your sister? Is she studying this day? No, she is not. She is working work as a cashier at the grocery store. It does they build over there? How is he waiting for? His girlfriend, Maggie. She is coming in the bus. In on the bus. La primera parte. Well, would you like to see a movie tonight? No. Well, do you like to see a movie tonight? Sure. What time does it start? Do you like horror movies? No, not really. Uh, what king of music does your friend Ricardo like? Rock and roll classic, I think. Ok, ya nos están llamando. Bueno. Por lo menos lo logramos.
All right, welcome back, welcome back. Who can give me the answer for number one? Would you like? Would you like? Number two. Do you Do. like horror Do. movies? Do you like horror movies? Number three. Does. Does your That's friend Ricardo. Music. Does your friend Ricardo like? Does, very good. Number one, part two. How is How your, is sister? your sister? Is she studying these days? Excellent. Is she studying these days? Letter B. No, she isn't. She's, She's working. working as a cashier at a grocery store. She is working as a cashier at a grocery store. Number two. Is that David over there? Who is he waiting for? Who is he waiting for? His girlfriend, Maggie. She? She's coming, coming. on the bus. She's coming on the bus. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Let's go ahead. And Does anybody have any questions related to this activity? Questions no. related to this activity? Anybody? I don't have. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move forward and we're going to look at multiple choice. C. Instructions. Choose the correct word. Escoja la palabra correcta. Number one. J does hmm? every morning before breakfast. Yoga. 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 Okay, we're going to work in pairs and finish the three. Work in pairs and finish the three. You have two minutes. Two okay. minutes. Reading, Porque estoy en la del artículo de los tatu. Donde hablo de Andre Tatu y yo. Pero ¿en cuál necesitas trabajar tú? Do you need working? En la sección 5, pero déjeme ver. Ah, el, 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 el. En la sección 5, el primero. Sección 5, primera. Ajá. Lo voy a decirlo. 5.11. 5.11. Ajá. Permitime. Quiero ver. Ya me metí en otra parte. 5.11. Voy a encontrarlo. Ah, ya. Donde habla de la familia, ¿va? All right. Let me have one volunteer. Number two. How often do you? Go. Go. Go, Go swimming in the summer. Number three. Ice, baseball. Ice, baseball. Ice, baseball, baseball, baseball. All right, awesome. Questions for this activity? No, not 
Okay, thank you, Josue. Does anybody else have a question? No. Nobody? Okay. Now we're looking at the reading part. Andrew Taru. Please. Andrew Taru is a young French actress. She has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Adri's life and career. 1978. Audrey is born in Beaumont, France. So you are going to read this article about Audrey. Wait. And then you are going to answer the questions. Any questions? No. All right. Let's work in pairs. You have one minute. <laughs> okay. Aquí prácticamente no la vamos a terminar esta, Héctor. Por por no, por el tiempo, ya son las 10. Así va. Y esta es larga, porque si vos te vos deja, o sea, si la lees toda y le comenzas a relacionar, vaya, pero si querés comencemos a leer párrafo por párrafo. Voy a eh, comenzar yo. Ya, ya salí, ya, ya nos está llamando. A de ver. Ah, bueno. De... All right, guys, that's going to be your homework. If you are not finished, that is going to be your homework. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.